But so is Batarov. Yes, I expect this uh, to be uh, extra fury. It's not going to be the most cultured. No, of bouts not, not a lot of backpedaling. No. This will be in your face, in the phone booth, Tom. Yes. Close quarters. And there's no dialing for help. Like, you're in there, <laughs> and you're just going to have to deal with the other guy in there. <laughs> Batarov, who's assured of his place in Tokyo. Barabanov will be hoping to join him. Fourth seed at the European qualifiers. Still going. When... He'll be back in action when they resume in June. That's got to be such a, you know, I can't get inside these boxers' heads, but just to know you're going versus, um, you know, those who are in this event and still looking to build a resume and compete and get to Tokyo. I mean, there's already a, a training regimen in line for Batarov. There's already schedules and, you know, planning to go at a certain time and, be prepared to put his best out there in July. I mean, uh, just a different mindset. As suggested, they're not having to go too far to look for each other in this contest. No. Batarov is trying to stay sort of at range. He does have a reach advantage, but Barabanov wanting to get in close. Batter of having some success with the jab. Yep. But Barabanov continues to just churn forward. Yep. He's. I think this is his method. He's taking a few shots as he comes in. That was a smart jab by Batterov. You can see uh, both men looking for an, any angle in the clinch to try <laughs> to rip off an uppercut. And I would say Barabanov has been a little bit more successful scoring with a couple of uppercuts in the clinch. Batarov looks like he's more than capable of holding his own in the close exchanges. Yes. There he goes again. That kind of hold and uppercut. Thirty seconds to go in round one. That left gets through once more from Batarov, and you can see he's just seeming to confuse Barabanov a little bit, showing both fists and then teeing off with one. Hands are low from Batarov and scores with the right. I think you let the judges know that he'd scored with that as well. Yeah, it was a little styling. <laughs> Style points, hopefully, but uh, it's hard to say whether that will raise an eyebrow at all. I think Batarov did enough to win that first round, the man in red. Certainly later in the round. Yeah, I, I thought early on Barabanov seemed to be uh, a little bit more accurate, but then as it went on, uh, Batarov got in and scored those short, crunching punches. Is that right? Bit of showboating and celebration afterwards. Yeah. Second round. The Uzbek corner taking a little while to get out of there, but they're out and we're underway in round two. We spoke of the tennis grunt earlier. 
Tom, and we're hearing that from Batarov whenever he throws. Mm -hmm. And he's off much the same way he did in the first 20 seconds or so of, of round one. A lot of activity, not necessarily doing a lot of damage. Batarov with the low hands and swinging from the hip. He is talking the talk, uh, it appears, in the ring. Not talking to his opponent, but uh, announcing when he thinks he's scored and, and announcing every punch. It's a good body shot in there from Batarov. Barabanov just looks a bit one-dimensional. Clearly a tough, solid customer, Barabanov, but I think he's finding the angles and the style from Batarov a little bit much at present. A minute to go in round two. Not too much consequence being landed it's better from both men yes a real chance now to take the judge's eye at the end of the round Batarov was out early and now trying to storm here late gets through with a right Barabanov counters at the end Yeah, I don't think Barabanov wants to be having his hands low, but I'm not sure that's a great tactic from the Ukrainian. No. It's, uh, it, this, is, this is interesting because uh, Batarov has... He, uh, he's sort of made, made it appear as if he's doing more damage than he really is, but will that sell? All up to the five judges at ringside. Yeah, that was uh, not as uh, that was a more of a gamey round, I think, for both. Don't you? Yeah, uh, that was more difficult to score. <laughs> oh, that was a good little sequence. It was. It was uh, with about for, a minute uh, to go in the round. And Marabanov. Tight, tight second round, which means it's all to play for yep. in the last three minutes. Yes. Let's see how they approach it. Batrov's style is, uh, you know, there's a lot of show in there, no? There is. There is some power. Oh, Barabanov did get through there with a right. He hasn't landed too many really clean shots, but that one did get through. Thought Barabanov might make Batarov pay there for that wild swing, but it's a it's a very herky jerky style because he's he comes in with a couple, and then he's tying up, and then he's yeah. dancing away. And <laughs> I 
herky jerky tom yeah it's just uh in and out uh bobbing and weaving um sort of uh, you know unconventional just uh maybe it's certainly a, a, unconventional. an uncomfortable um you know, muscle twitching here, there. <laughs> I don't know. Pull the plug on me when, when you heard what you need to hear. <laughs> no, I, I'm with you. I'm with you. <laughs> it's all a bit confusing for very, Barabanov, I think. Yeah, no question. And, and, and I, if I'm confused in the judgment here. I think, you know, I... I I do think Barabanov is getting the better, but I, I don't I don't know. Barabanov, you can see him a little smile there after he took a punch, which is usually a bit of a tell. That was a good body shot from Batarov. And he's drawing his man in. And Barabanov took a couple of decent shots. He tried to chase the man in I, red. This is the first bout of the last two days that I tell you I have no idea. You are you've been fairly solid. I only remember one if one that you've missed. <laughs> oh, I've missed a couple. Tom. But no, <laughs> I, I but I have no idea because I saw great effort from both and I saw some punches landing. Uh, I, I don't know how Batarov's style will will be judged. I, is that fair? That is fair. I mean, for me, Batarov has won that bout. Personally speaking, I would give Batarov the bout, but yes. we've seen that boxers with that sort of style haven't got the decisions this week so far. Yeah. Well, here we go. We'll soon find out. Ah, oh, Batarov does get it. He is rewarded for his efforts, and let's see the scorecard. Yeah, he was given the first two rounds, clearly. 